As the general election campaign nears, everybody is wondering who Donald Trump will pick as his VP. Could it be Vivek Ramaswamy? Okay, so practically speaking, the Republican primary is nearing its end. Trump has defeated Nikki Haley. Now, I personally think that was a bad decision by Republican voters, but the decision has been made. So now the big question is who will Donald Trump nominate as his vice president? So, a lot of names have been floated. Tim Scott, Ron DeSantis, Christy Nome, but one of those big names is former presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy. The first question is would he be willing to serve? And we get an answer from this clip on The Benny Show. You personally, on like a, a, a physical level, on a spiritual level, on a family level, would you even be wanting that type of responsibility? Would you be prepared for that? Uh, what's your gut say? Yeah, so I'm not going to go into this out of respect to you know, President Trump and his ability to lead, going to go into our, in any conversations or anything like that. And so my commitment is I'm going to do whatever I can maximally do to have a positive impact on this country and respect the decision that Donald Trump makes and how he wants to run that administration. And whatever form that takes, I'm ready for it. That's my honest answer. For it. Right there at the end, Vivek says that he's willing to serve wherever Trump puts him. That means, while he won't say it directly, that he's willing to serve in the VP position. So if Vivek's willing, that brings up the question, is Trump willing to choose him. Watch this clip from an interview with Trump on Fox News. The audience has uh, been asked who they think would be a good choice, and various names came up. Um, uh, one of them was, of course, Vivek Ramaswamy. No. He's made a big splash. Ron DeSantis, who's made in, making an appearance today in South Carolina, we just found out. Um, obviously, Tim Scott, Byron Donalds, and a, a big uh, presence here for Tulsi Gabbard. And honestly, all of those people are good. They're all good. They're all solid. And I always say I want people with common sense because there's so many things happening in this country that don't make sense. So Vivek Ramaswamy is on Trump's list and Vivek is willing. So this is actually a potential VP candidate. So knowing that, how does Vivek Ramaswamy look in this position? Well, first, the top quality of a VP is that they're able to support and promote and campaign for the presidential candidate. Now, watch this clip of Vivek on Fox News. He seems to do a very persuasive job of campaigning for Trump. Yeah, so look, I, 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 what I've said is I'm going to respect whatever decision President Trump makes. We can't take the election this November for granted. That's actually the next step right here. So there's a deep bench. There's a lot of great people in our party. I'm going to support whatever decision he makes. But most importantly, we have to win in that decisive election this fall. That's my sole focus. And I think that, Jesse, one of the things that President Trump has said that I've really appreciated is that, you know what our vengeance is? Success is our vengeance. That's the American way. Vivek, objectively, is a very eloquent speaker. And if he can bring that to support Trump, it definitely would help him in a general election. Vivek also has the support of people within the Trump camp. Right here, you see Mike Lee, a U.S. senator from Utah, promoting Vivek. You see this gentleman who's chair for Students for Trump. So even people within the Trump circle are supporting Vivek. Now, one last question for Vivek is, can he have influence? Because he's new to the political arena, does he have any influence? Well, one thing to look at is what he did to Ronna McDaniel. Watch this clip from the debates last fall. We've become a party of losers at the end of the day. We have a cancer in the Republican establishment. Let's speak the truth. I mean, since Ronna McDaniel took over as chairwoman of the RNC in 2017, we have lost 2018, 2020, 2022, no red wave that never came. We got trounced last night in 2023. And I think that we have to have accountability in our party. For that matter, Ron, if you want to come on stage tonight, you want to look the GOP voters in the eye and tell them you resign, I will Turn over my, yield my time to you. Vivek Ramaswamy had the boldness to call out Ronna McDaniel. While he wasn't the only one calling her out, he was probably the most prominent. Now, just a few months later, McDaniel has resigned from her position. This means 
that Vivek Ramaswamy has influence in the party, has prominent endorsements, is a good campaign surrogate, and has the general support of President Trump. These all check the boxes for Vivek. But he has one big weakness. Vivek Ramaswamy is inexperienced. This is a column from back in the summer, and I think it points out a really smart position, that Vivek Ramaswamy is running on the unlimited optimism of the inexperienced. Yes, Vivek is an excellent speaker. Yes, he's a really strong candidate, but he's inexperienced, and that could cause trouble down the road. Donald Trump has to weigh his options. He has quite a few solid VP potential candidates, and he will decide in the coming months if Vivek Ramaswamy is great enough to make the cut. 